is the Corner Man Radio. We back at you live. Barzini and Boxing Iron Man. Yeah, man, we're going to talk about the end of the gatekeepers, man. Matchups, matchup fights that we need to talk about. Um, and the end of these fighters, man, I really don't. I don't really care about seeing them anymore. Some some other boxing fans might want to see these guys, but I I do not want to see them after these fights. You know what I mean? I feel like after these fights is like one and done. Maybe you can set up another, maybe one more fight with them, with somebody else. But um, these are the only fights I would like to see next. Boxing eye. Yeah. Yeah, man. You started off late Bro. and shit. <laughs> oh, damn. Yo, I passed out. Where I, I was watching the show, the and I was like, damn, show about to start. Oh. All right, let's get into oh, it, oh, man. Oh. Uh, we're going to start with um, Victor Ortiz versus Brandon Rios, man. I know a lot of boxing fans been talking about this fight. They got heavily beefed. They don't like each other for all these years. I can't keep... I, every time I keep hearing the both of them dissing one another. Now it's finally... We finally get a chance to see them fight each other now. Brandon Rios is free off the of top rank and can do business with everybody. So what you think about the match of Victor Ortiz and Brandon Rios? I, I guess you bring some... Old, old fans from like 2007, maybe back into back into boxing. I mean, I could see people like that being interested in it. Um, what does it do? What does it do for them? Uh, it, it's a good uh, rivalry in boxing. They always been talking junk. No one would have ever thought they was gonna fight. You know, they was always on two opposite sides of the street. In terms of promotion, mm-hmm. so now there's a way, there's a will, there's a way. Is it too little, too late? You know what I'm saying? Are these warriors chopped up a little bit, beat down? Yeah, but do they have enough in the tank to make it a good fight? I think so. They ain't, they're not in their forties. You know what I'm saying? These guys are still young. They're just warriors right. that put that went toe to toe in a lot of fights. Um, I don't trust Victor Ortiz's chin, man. I, I think if Brandon Rios comes in the, in great shape, if he actually Brandon Rios when he dedicates himself and comes in to fight, he always puts on a good performance. So I would definitely pick him to win the fight. Uh, it, it ain't gonna they ain't gonna go nowhere after that. You know what I mean? Unless maybe you want to use Brandon Rios as a stepping stone gatekeeper for someone on the come up. You know, I, I, I see it being the end of Victor Ortiz. I would pick Brandon Rios in that fight. What's your Oh, okay. Well, to me, to me, man, I think that's the last payday, big payday for them. You know what I mean? Maybe you can give them one more fight, but I just don't want to see no more Brandon Rios. I lost all hope in Brandon Rios. Every time I, I, I have this guy thinking he's going to win, he lets me down over and over and over and over again. Victor Ortiz, um, can't say I was a fan of him, but you know what I mean? I want to see the boy beat Brandon Rios. I think Brandon Rios has been bullying him, and I want to see, like, the bully gets get their ass whooped, you know what I mean? I, I just feel like he's been talking trash the worst way of Victor Ortiz, man. I don't know if Victor Ortiz has the heart anymore to to come up with a win, but I, I, I'm I I'm going a, I'm to a tune into this fight, you know what I mean? It should be a war. Might be might be the, one of the best fights in, in a war type of capacity. But after this fight, man, let's move on from them, man. 